Right, so Ross Taylor could be the key here now. Oh, this is a run out. Oh, it's a mess up. If ever there should have been a run out, that should have been it. Well, total misunderstanding between the batsmen as well as the fielders. Look at this. This was uh, the way he hit it, went straight to Shreb Malik. He looked to hit it first and then ran and then tried to give it to Mohamed Ahmed. And Mohamed Ahmed was nowhere near the stumps as well as the throw was pretty wide from Shreb Malik. He should have tried to hit the stump straight. There you go. He's gone way too back from the stumps. He should have been a lot closer to the stumps. I think uh, a total misunderstanding between all four of them. Oh yes, that's a big, uh, a big miss. That is. Oh, that's out. That's caught behind. Huge Nick. Well, a couple of uh, deliveries there. The first one uh, almost resulting in a run out, and uh, that one, of course, absolutely no doubt at all. It's a huge Nick. Don't worry about the run out if you can deliver something like that. It was a little wide. The room was there. But he was just going away from Ross Taylor. Look at this. Look at the angle on the ball. And uh, was looking to just thrash it through the cover. Big outside edge. And Hamra Nakmo is struggling with his groin. Took another beautiful catch. Ross Taylor going for five. is 34 for three. 38 matches in first class cricket. Four centuries. And... Uh, He's playing his uh, first match here. This is his first delivery. And uh, there'll be plenty of you down in uh, New Zealand who'll be interested in um, Daniel Vittori. He's apparently back from hospital. And the scan that he had in hospital is clear. He's been diagnosed with concussion. He won't play tomorrow. And he's been advised to take uh, a couple of weeks rest. Will he be fit for the first test match? That's uh, not clear yet. So, uh, some good news there on Daniel Vittori, who didn't play today because he was uh, having a few problems before the start of play. Right, let's have another look at the wicket. Some good angles being bowled by these bowlers. Well, what happens in uh, 2020, if you, as a batsman, you look to hit it too hard sometime, and that's exactly what... Uh, Ross Taylor did. Look at this. There you go. And there's a fair chance if the ball slanting away from you, you'll uh, end up edging it. And that's uh, what happened. Yes, they don't want to lose too many more wickets now. They need 128 to get off 92 balls. That's uh, 8.35 runs and over. That's uh, always possible with wickets in hand and a partnership going. But uh, lose too many. And it makes it very difficult indeed. A little bit of worry for Pakistan here. Kamran Nakmal uh, looked a little uncomfortable. I think his groin is uh, troubling him. You saw him in the last catch when he took really celebrated. Two brothers, twins. They, they look twins though. Murakmal is the younger one. So the end of the over, it's 35 for 3.